We're going to introduce you today to the Good Grips line of kitchen utensils and to some new acquisitions that Cooper Hewitt recently made. We acquired products from the Good Grips line in 1992 and thought it would be great to have examples of the prototypes and drawings to tell a little of the design story behind the objects. So we went downtown to the studio of Smart Design to talk with them about their design process. We started Smart Design way back when, when we actually went to college together. Our point of view very, very early on with Smart Design was that design should be for everyone. This is the OXO Good Grips Peeler. We would get letters back from people that had purchased the peeler and said this is the first time that I've actually been able to peel a carrot or a potato comfortably and we'd get letter after letter like this. It was more than just a peeler, it was an enabler. It actually enabled people that couldn't do things to be able to do things. These are basically studies in handle shapes. A minority sample of the different variations. We never ever at Smart Design depended a whole lot on sketches. We would always very, very early go into physical models. Hundreds of iterations of handles of different sizes and shapes. And one of the many things that came up was just a basic rubberized bicycle handle. When we went to a meeting and we had all our prototypes sitting on the table, people kept picking up this and kind of talking and doing that, you know, fiddling with it. That was not unnoticed by our team. We do do some sketching, but it's only to record ideas. When you think of an idea, you need to jot it down quickly, like in shorthand. Then we need to make more precise drawings. Here you're just documenting what already exists. This is the very first CAD drawing, computer-aided design drawing, that was done at Smart Design. Shortly after this, all of the, the drafting tables, T-squares, set angles, we threw them all out. We know that if you buy a product, you bring it home, and it works just like you thought, that's good, but it's not great design, it's not exceptional. What really makes a great design is when you buy a product, you bring it home, and it's actually a little bit better than you thought. 